how do we actually bring it about that our government at least sort of pretends to obey the law. I'm driving down the road in New Orleans and I get pulled over by this police officer for a broken taillight. So the cop walks up to my car, first words out of his mouth, do you have any guns or weapons? You look at me, I'm pretty racially ambiguous. I have this funny accent. My mother's English. My father's a black guy from the south side of Chicago. And I say, no. And the cop tells me, get out of the car. So he promptly cuffs me, puts me in the back of the car, and goes back to rooting around in mine. A few minutes later, he produces this joint, just for the record, did not actually possess any marijuana. And then he takes me off to jail. And so here I am, furious, of course, because I've just been essentially framed for possession. I eventually get out because I call somebody and she calls a judge. And the judge just signs an order. No court appearance, no due process of any kind. Just like, hey, you can be free from jail now. And so this entire relationship has nothing to do with law, but it's endemic in our society. And so I've been writing and thinking about this idea of what we call the rule of law and how we actually achieve that in this world, it turns out it's incredibly hard because of course it has been particularly black people who have been at the tooth end of when the government is just operating via power rather than law. And all of these burdens of our legal system just keep compounding and it begins with this unchecked power that is then used to thrust people into this coercive system that they're unable to handle that the activism, particularly of people of color, has been part of how we've gotten a little bit closer. All of these movements have had as one of their goals, let the law be the thing that controls the government. And so I give that history, and I really try to evaluate to what extent can we do more work to try to bring the government to the heel of law.